No Man's Sky. New, big, free update. You know, they're always pushing out those beautiful, new, big, free updates. And this one is actually a beautiful, new, free update. This is actually really focusing on visuals, a bunch of new weather systems, volumetric stuff, fogs, clouds, all that stuff, new weather systems. So you get into a planet, there's different storms, you got winds blowing, different things like that. Also, big showcase is like the way the water and everything looks looks really sick. Now, I think all this technology is coming from their new game, Light No Fire, which is pretty freaking awesome. And I'm actually pretty hyped about that as well because as we've seen from these developers, they like pushing out new free stuff. Uh, this is gonna be coming out with a new expedition, um, which is gonna be all about exploring these new worlds and seeing the new creatures that they've been adding as well, focusing on fighting bugs and stuff with a brand new mech, heavy mech with a flamethrower arm and stuff. Seems pretty sick, not gonna lie. All right, so let's dive into this. A bug hut expedition, the liquidators. This is actually probably gonna be what makes me pop back in because an expedition is a really good way to play. Basically, if you don't know, they're like a, a new way to start a new game and they have like a curated little quest list. You go and do things, all of the community is there. So instead of being out in space and everybody's millions of miles away, you got a lot of other people around. So it feels a little bit more like an MMO. With so this one, engage in a galactic bug hunt in No Man's Sky's 14th community expedition. Uh, vile brood is spreading, corruption across the universe. Join the Liquidator Vanguard to do your part and purge the rot from the stars. Sounds pretty cool. And from this, look, we get some little combat that's awesome. One of the weakest parts about uh, No Man's Sky for me was always the combat. Felt a little wonky, but we're going to see what these looks like in a few days. Report for duty alongside other travelers to liquidate biological horrors and a host of giant insects in a high-paced combat expedition full of custom balanced swarm combat, which seems really awesome. Also, like, attached to that is that flamethrower arm thing. An exclusive selection of rewards uh, await those who uh, do their part on the War of the Bugs, including mounted bug trails trophies, new posters, and a complete set of organic armor parts uh, forged from the bodies of the brood themselves. Hella hell divers energy in there. Uh, discovery, renaming a new system uh, for plants, flora, fauna, and materials can now be renamed at any time. Nice, nice, very cool. This thing looks also pretty damn sick, not gonna lie. Dramatic new worlds. This is the biggest part of it. This is why it's the new worlds part one. Planets across the universe have been transformed in wild and radical ways. Uh, gravitational distortions have warped some of the lush uh, tropical words, shaking the floating islands that now drift in the atmosphere above the planet's surface. Hop from rock to rock with a jetpack or starship, build bases in the sky, and simply marvel at the dramatic waterfalls that cascade from the sky. Does look hella sick. I love this kind of thing, the whole Pandora vibe, new volumetric clouds. This looks pretty awesome. Now, one thing that kind of has me worried about this, like I said, I haven't jumped into it yet, is uh, performance. I know on my system, I have a pretty weak CPU, and uh, No Man's Sky always kind of ran a little bleh for me. I'm hoping this doesn't impact my performance too much. Uh, total overhaul, the clouds bring visually increased detail and definition. The cloud system has been rewritten from the ground up to improve performance, fix visual artifacts, custom solar ships. Um, now, the, my last ship that I got was a solar ship, and I'm gonna say they look pretty nice. So you get some custom ships and detailed shadows. Another thing that kind of has me worried about performance wise, but shadows of new depth and realism. Planetary environments are now more richly lit and natural features and structures of starship and travelers accurately self shadowing and representing exposure to sunlight, especially noticeable on finely detailed flora such as grass. Additionally, shadow cast by the clouds are now calculated in relation to the sun's position. High definition water. No Man's Sky did have like a really big update with uh, underwater stuff. Water kind of feels a little bleh. This looks really freaking good. Um, especially with the dispersion, like while you're flying over it with your ship and everything. Otherworldly life. Discover strange new creatures. So we get a bunch of new plant looking uh, creatures. Looks pretty awesome. Full wind simulation. This looks really awesome. Dynamic water. Looking at it up close over here, looks pretty damn sick. And the Liquidator Combat Mech. All right, I want one of these. The mech in the game is like my preferred way to bounce around the planet. It's really freaking sick. This one has a flamethrower. Carve through the toughest enemies with the new heavy duty mech suit. All those who do their part in the Liquidator's expansion will unlock this new combat focus component of the Minotaur. As a community purge, the vile brood from the universe planets for these parts will become available at the Quicksilver Synthesis Companion, um, little thing that you go in the main hub and then you can go and grab stuff. Also, that's another thing. When you do these expeditions, you can go back and get these in any of your other characters, uh, any of your expedition rewards, even if you have like your main character, the stuff that you unlock, the cool stuff like this, will be available through your whole, all of your characters, whatever, if you have like another playthrough that you had going before and you want to pop back into another one. So also looking at this, it looks like you have a lot more um, biome stuff. 
um, Sub-Zero Worlds. You got some desert diversity over here. Um, sky colors. And look at this little guy, insect armor sets. That looks pretty awesome. Now this seems interesting, engine enhancements. Now, like I said earlier, I believe all this stuff is coming from the work that they're doing on Light New Fire. Let's see what it says. Many underlying systems have been reworked for improved visuals and increased performance. That is what I would like to see. Rending of the environmental details such as trees, rocks, and grass have been moved to a GPU-based system. This is actually pretty damn big for me. Now I'm definitely checking this one out. Allowing for denser worlds and increased performance. Terrain generation has also been rewritten to incorporate dual marching cubes, voxel messing, and increasing loading speed. Um, big thing I usually had a problem with it was it was going across the you know the planet and stuff. I would get random stutters you know, while the planet was loading in, especially if you're moving fast on like a fast moving car or whatever. New interactable labels. What's this? Ah, nice. I kind of like that. We got a diverse Beatles. This is more stuff. I think that you guys should go and check out. That's going to be like one of those things that, you know, discovery is more fun anyway. Dramatic storms. Now this looks really awesome. Exploring a uh, planet during a blizzard or thunderstorm is more exhilarating than ever. New ambient effects, atmospheric fog combined with wind responsive particles and effects. This just looks freaking badass. Oh, and we got Twitch drops. Come drop by uh, Twitch forward slash Travman underscore underscore T R A V E M E N. You know, shameless plug. Maybe you can get some of those drops. Or you can watch one of the hundreds of other people probably streaming this. But cool, you can get some uh, new stuff from Twitch drops. Walker battles. Walker battles are now framed by detailed combat HUD, indicating a new targetable vulnerabilities of these elite Sentinel units. I never really fought the Sentinels before, but that seems pretty awesome. We got a new flight pack looking over here. And watercolor variety. That seems pretty cool, too. New consumables that you can craft. And living buildings. Very rarely, in sectors where the anomaly field is strongest, planetary buildings have evolved legs and transformed themselves into sentient constructions that roam across the landscape. That looks pretty badass. <laughs> oh, and this seems like a pretty snifty thing. Uh, water aquatic landing jets. New technology allows starships to land directly on the surface of water, enabling travelers to drive directly into the sea from the nose of their ships. Starships may also be summoned into the water for a quick escape uh, in the middle of the ocean. That's actually pretty cool because there are a lot of resources that you can go and find in the ocean, and if you want to quickly just go away, that's pretty awesome. Some new base parts over here. Again, going on some more of these atmospherics and some new quality of life stuff. Let's see. A significant number of quality of life features have been improved throughout the game. The docking tractor beam at the space stations and freighters now smoother. Reloading can be interrupted to quickly cycle between weapon models. Refiners can now be quick filled with an entire stack of items. Core technology will be instantly repaired from the quick menu and a bunch of other stuff. Got some new emotes if you really want to flex on a hater. Specular underwater bases. Um, looks like they updated the underwater base creation stuff, which last time I tried to do like a hybrid, uh, you know, base thing. I was trying to do a little bit of the water stuff and it was a little bit wonky. So I'm excited to kind of see where this is. DLLS 3. That is something I like. When it comes to performance stuff, that's what I want. All right, I want a smooth gaming experience. Deep learning, super sane with the deal of technology available at the PC players, comparable RTX cards. Nice, nice, nice. So if you got, you got an NVIDIA, we got some DLSS for you. Got a new Nexus mission. New world type Noxious Worlds. Some of the Colossus insects are now available as trophies. Hungering Tendril encounters. Irradiated landscapes. Look, you can look like a bug. The Flamethrower. Burnt Worlds. Some new variety of the night skies. Blossoming Megaflora. So we got some bigger plants and stuff. But yeah, man, lots of cool stuff. Yeah, should see that on stream. What do you guys think, though? This uh, exciting enough for you to pop back into No Man's Sky? I think it is for me. Anyway, check her out. It's beautiful.